So these starter pack templates, I will, I'll explain them by just opening the first one. Um, okay. So for each of the, the four years, we've got one of these templates and uh, the way they're organized is by su a suggested teaching objectives uh, that we have for, uh, for you. And those are based on those tables that Pat showed. So here's the first one, um, introduce cognitive styles. And this is for intro or first year courses. And then we've got some other ones. Uh, we've also got just a, a blank table so that you can define your own objective. Uh, one thing I'll mention is we, you're not required to use these. We just created these in case they, they might be useful to you. And now I'll explain what's in this table. So first column, that's your, your course. Um, this, oh, I can't highlight. Okay. So this related course learning outcome would be, uh, an outcome that's already existing in your course and your syllabus. And then the idea would be you would come, uh, come up with a compatible gender mag learning outcome to pair with that existing outcome. And we've given some examples and suggestions here. And then, um, based on that, and Pat will go into this later, uh, backwards design. So starting with uh, the assessment first, the assessment uh, for determining if students uh, got to the learning outcome you defined, starting with the assessment, and then defining activities that will, uh, that you will assess students doing, and then just a notes column. Okay, these, here's a, uh, I've got some embedded links in here. So uh, this suggested objective introduced cognitive styles. Uh, the, the learning outcome will be students can identify two plus a, of their own facet values, kind of like what we did. And then if you follow this link, then it will take us to the teach site. And uh, let's see, what was it? So homework cognitive styles reflection. And then you just scroll down until you see the example. And then you can open this right up. And there's the example for you. So uh, I want to tell you a couple more things about these starter packs. Um, so these really, these are, are meant for initial brainstorming. Uh, you might want to use them at first, but then go over to using something else later when, uh, to finalize your, your curriculum. Uh, as I mentioned, it's using, we suggest backwards design, which Pat will talk about more later. Um, when you're developing, when you're creating your new curriculum, just uh, be mindful of what's being taught in other courses. And that will, will kind of come, come about naturally because of these, these workshops. You'll get to know what other people are doing. And also because we've got those tables that Pat showed. But this is just um, something that some content doesn't need to be repeated for the same students. Um, for example, a whole gender mag cognitive style, uh, cognitive walkthrough lecture, a student doesn't need to see that twice. However, uh, also keep in mind that some students are coming in later, like transfer students. So it's good to have a copy of whatever curriculum you're, you're relying on them to already be familiar with. And again, uh, you want to fit your gender mag into what, the existing curriculum that you have. Um, last point, if you're introducing personas in your course, uh, either introduce uh, just one persona like Abby or introduce all three at once, Abby, Pat, and Tim. Um, uh, we found that if you just introduce Abby and Tim and not Pat, then students can interpret that as being too binary. All right. Okay. Any questions about the starter packs? Um, okay. In case you're wondering about the backup curriculum that Laura mentioned, um, actually, it's um, it's it's simpler than you might be imagining. We're not expecting you to reteach what some what happened in an earlier course. Um, 
we'll be looking again at those tables uh, a little bit later, and you'll see that if a student, you know, has missed, say, for example, the cognitive styles exploration uh, in one course, and um, it doesn't matter that much uh, because it's easy enough to pick it up if you're building upon that in the next course by just, you know, pointing to the same assets. So you don't have to actually reteach it. Yeah, the, um, so there probably won't be any need to, to take class time to repeat, to reteach anything. Right, yeah, and how I might do it in my course is, uh, so we're in Canvas and I would just have an additional resources section for my modules and people can I would refer to that in case they don't know what's going on, but yeah, we wouldn't need to teach it to students who hadn't been exposed to it, just providing them a link. Uh, 